Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a cool looking 3D screenshot effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, once you're inside the Fusion page, just go to the media pool and drag in your image inside the flow. And let's take a look at this image. So this is an image of the inspector panel of DaVinci Resolve. And I want to create a cool looking 3D screenshot on this. So the first thing we'll do is on this media in one, we'll hit just spacebar and type in image plane 3D. Uh, so just search for that and click on add. And if you take a look at this image plane 3D, you can see that this is now in a 3D viewport. Now let's add in a merge. So type in merge and we'll search for merge 3D and click on add. And on this merge 3D, we'll add our render 3D as well so that we render out the output back into 2D environment. So if you take a look at this 3D render 3D, this is how it is going to look. Just make sure that you enable lighting inside the render 3d and you can see that it turns black and that's because there is no lighting we have to add the lighting as well so for now let's just turn that off for a moment and what we'll do is we'll just animate our image plane 3d so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select image plane 3d go to transform and just push it back in the z space like so and you can animate it however you want so i'm going to create a simple animation on this let's add a keyframe on y-axis I'm going to move forward a few frames. I'm going to tilt it on the Y axis like so. Move forward again a few frames and just turn it to the other side. And then on the last frame, we'll set this back to zero. So we'll have a simple animation like so. Of course, you can go to spline and ease out all these keyframes. So I'm going to select all the keyframes, hit S to ease them out. So we'll have a much smoother looking animation. Alright, so now what we can do is we have this basic effect, uh, but what we can do is we can add a specular light inside this scene as well. So what you can do is let's search on this merge 3D, make sure you click on it to select it and just hit shift spacebar and type in spotlight and click on add. Now we have the spotlight effect. Now you can see that nothing really happens and that is because we need to go to our render 3D and enable the lighting. And now you'll be able to see the spotlight. So now in the spotlight effect, we can go to transform and change some settings over here, such as the Z axis so that we can see the entire image over here. And right at the back, you can see that we have this cool specular light inside our, inside our scene and it really sells our effect with this lighting. Now we can also go to image plane and go to material and we can turn down the intensity of this. So we can go to specular and turn it down using this slide over here and you can control the exponent as well and then you can go to spotlight as well and you can change the position of the spotlight if you wish to do so so when you change it you can see that we have this black area over here but we can simply go to either we can go increase the z distance over here or we can also go to controls and play with other settings such as cone angle and penumbra can also turn uh, we can also change the decay type and we'll have some really cool looking uh, cool looking screenshot results you can control some different settings over here such as the decay rate and all that stuff um, so yeah we can have a much nicer result with that so if you play your animation this is how it is going to look so uh, yeah, that is just about it. That's how you can add a really quick uh, specular light inside your scene to make your screenshots much better. Lastly, you can, after this render 3D, add in a, a background node to this. Let's connect the merge with the media out and let's take a look at the media out. And our background is sitting on top. So I'm gonna right click on this merge and click on swap inputs so that we can see our screenshot over here. And now on the background, you can just change it to any color that you want and have a nice looking background as well so that is how you can create a really simple and cool looking 3d screenshot effect i hope this video is helpful i hope you learned something new if it did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one